Well, at first glance, these triangles only have one pair of angles in common. But a little bit of arithmetic and corollary to Theorem 4.1 shows us that all three angles are in common. Now, we only need two for angle-angle, but of course, if you got two, you've got three. So there you go. There's your similarity. Color-coded it for you so you can keep them in order. Well, we've got one pair of congruent angles in green. We need another pair, and there they are. So, angle angle it is. Are the triangles similar? We've got one pair of congruent angles. Well, let's be thorough and check the remaining angles. You know, sometimes your answer is just plain no. This is getting easy. There's one pair. Ah, there's the second pair. Both triangles contain angle C. And there's your similar triangles. Well, let's see if we have similar triangles here. First glance, it appears not. But let's do some arithmetic. Triangle sum theorem tells me this. These three must add up to 180, as do these. All right, now I can imagine. You can see what's going on here. If you could imagine this, imagine this triangle reflected like this. Ah, so if I switched them around, if I put the 50 degree angle over here, and if I put the 45 over here, you can see how they would correspond with the other angles here with W and U. And therefore, I would come up with this. These two triangles, you now I'll, I'll take away my reflection to so make it uncluttered. My, um, my triangles are similar this way. The X y z is similar to u y w well here's a neat diagram a pair of parallel lines and two transversals well right away that gives me this i see corresponding angles congruent i see them there in green and i see them in blue well you could have used those two or one of those and angle n being used twice in any event pick any two of those, and you've got similar triangles. Well, what could be wrong with this? Looks pretty good. Angle B and angle F are congruent, angle C and angle G. So why isn't this work out? Well, it's very simple. Um, angle angles for triangles. And I could demonstrate this just by taking one of these sides. I could twist, well, let me, let me do this better. Let me spread this one out. So I can change the shapes here. These two shapes are not the same at all. This is These two are quadrilaterals. So this just doesn't work. Well, let's solve for the missing side P. Multiple choice here. This one's a little fun. I've got parallel lines here. Parallel lines, I've got two transversals. And I've got vertical angles, but I only need two. So I'm going to go for the easy ones. I'll stick with the alternate interior angles, the two different pairs. And then you can see the similar triangles right there. And I'm going to take it like this and visually show you. I'm going to rotate it like that, just like that. So you can see the 10 corresponds to the P, the 12 corresponds to the 24. Your proportion would go up this way. Really, you can see what that really means. If you simplify 24 to 12, um, or another way of saying it, it's just um, P is just twice as big. The side is just twice as big as the 10. It's that easy. So your answer, choice B, 20. All right, another error analysis. This is just plain wrong. What is wrong with it? Well, look at the picture right here. This triangle is similar to this triangle, not the trapezoid. So the 4 is to the 6 as the whole side, the 9, is to the x. That's what's wrong. So you could solve that. You'll come up with 13 and a half. Well, this is about congruence. Seems like the wrong chapter, but we can disprove this one easily enough. Um, these two triangles both have a red segment, and they both have this blue segment. On the surface, it looks like we've got the same triangle. But we'd either need the third segment, remember that's side, 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 or we would need the included angle between them. Because right now, all I have to do is this, and these two triangles are not congruent at all. 
Well, given these two measured segments, I'll call them blue and R for red here. If I have these two triangles built out of a red and blue segment, proportionally that is, this segment is three times R, this one is two times R. Three times blue, two times blue. So a scale of three to two. They would appear to be similar. And you know the fact is they could be. But that's why two of the three sides, so really they don't have to be. So there's your counterexample right there. These two, they've got two pairs of sides. They need three to be proportional and then they would be similar.